Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome on back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Today is episode 7, and we're starting on top of a massive pillar of coal ore. And there's a bunch of diamond ore down there too. I've got our fancy new Fortune 3 iron pickaxe on us here, and it's time to take this thing all the way down. I need some experience so we can do some enchanting today and be able to get a lot of building on. I have a massive build project planned out for today's episode that I'm so excited for. But man, we need a lot of blocks for it. And there we go. All of the coal is gathered up. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Almost five stacks of the stuff. That's going to keep us smelting for a good while here. There's something squeaking around. Oh, there's a dolphin down there. He's taking my coal. I want that thing. Give me that back. Anyways, up here, we've got a bunch of diamond ore. We've got our Fortune 3 iron pickaxe here ready to go. The diamond pickaxe is getting a little low over here. We'll figure out a way to repair that guy here soon. But I think it's time that we take all of this down. We had 32 diamond ore in here. How many are we going to get? Picking up the last ones right now. And what are we looking at? A total of 64 and 7. Oh my gosh. We are rich. Now, before we go too crazy crafting up a bunch of tools, I wanted to head over to our skeleton spawner and actually get some experience over here so we can actually, you know, enchant these tools that we're getting. I want to build something above here so it's not just a random ladder leading into the ground. If you have ideas, let me know. I'm almost thinking a lighthouse could be cool. But today, as we're spending a little bit of time here getting this experience, the plan in today's episode is actually going to be building up a potion brewery. And I want to go with a very industrial steampunk styled brewery setup up above ground. And there we have it up to level 37, which means we can enchant quite a few things. I just picked up a bow too. another power two bow. That's pretty nice. Uh, I guess I'll throw these down below. So I spent a little bit of time mining before starting today's episode, getting a lot of, actually it's not in there anymore, clay. We need a heck of a lot of clay for the build project today. Well, we need bricks because we're gonna be using a lot of brick blocks inside of the build. And my, 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 oh my, we have to take down a lot of the terrain over there and flatten it out. The entrance that is we have into our mines right now is actually gonna be where the potion brewery is sitting on top of. That's something we can sort out here a little bit later on. For now, I want to focus on being able to use all of these diamonds that we got. I don't think I'm going to go for armor quite yet, but I think I want to get a full new round of tools and make some swords. I just want to say a quick thank you again to everybody who's taking the time to leave a like on these videos here. It is very much appreciated, my friends. Grabbing the lapis down here, throwing this guy in. What are we getting? Silk Touch? That would be a replacement for this guy, but what else can we grab here? Silk Touch on a shovel. I do like the idea of that, but we're actually getting a bunch of clay right now. Silk Touch on an axe. I actually really like Silk Touch axes. Efficiency for Silk Touch. I'll take that one right there. And then what are we getting up next? The Diamond Pickaxe Efficiency 4 could be good. That's going to be the same, right? Diamond tools all around. Sharpness 4 on a sword, though. That, I think, I think we got to do that one. Just a plain Sharpness 4 sword. Okay, what do we got here? Unbreaking 3 and Unbreaking 3. We already have an Enchanted Pickaxe, so let's go ahead and do the shovel. And one second, oh, Fortune, no. I don't like actually you know what? we're getting clay right now that'll be okay typically I don't enjoy using fortune shovels because well they uh they turn all of your gravel into flint and that is enough of a headache for me that I never want to deal with them so for now we'll use this guy and whenever we're done with it I think I might just r roll him off like reset the shovel by using a grindstone and call it good there but what I wanted to do for the next little bit is we need a lot more clay than I had currently so we can go exploring off this direction into the jungle further into this crazy terrain here and see if we can't find some clay inside these rivers. With all these waterfalls coming down, the riverbed should be easy enough to traverse and we can do a little exploring here too. I kind of want to get to the edge of the jungle and see what's on the other side. I absolutely have no idea what is waiting for us on the other side of this jungle. Oh my gosh, there's a creeper literally inside that waterfall going all the way up. He's going to drop right on top of me, isn't he? You know what? Why are we using the iron sword? We literally got a sharpness four diamond sword here. What's, what am I doing? Goodbye, iron sword. I yeet you onto the ground. <gasps> How did that happen? I didn't even see him. Oh, it's the waterfall creeper. Maybe we should have made some diamond armor. It's fine. Hopefully that didn't flow towards the lava. That would be really sad. We just spent all of our levels. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be so difficult getting all of our stuff back. It's somewhere in here. There's everything is scattered around. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, how's that right there even over on this side? What the heck? There's our sword. That's good. We've got most of our enchanted tools back. And there's our boots. And then there's, oh, even more stuff. There's the pickaxe. We need that guy for sure. I need to find this iron helmet so that, oh, I think it's right up there. <laughs> We're going to retire all the armor when we die, right? Nope, that's a craft table. That is not an iron helmet. Ooh, it's very dark back here. Where is the helmet? Death by Waterfall Creeper on episode seven. That's going to be a great grave gravestone to read out. 
Now, I don't really know why I came all the way up here, but I did, and I just want to take ourselves further into the jungle and find a new river network. That river network I was following just literally dips right back out to the ocean, so probably not the best thing for us. I think I just saw a jungle temple behind those the trees right over here. Did we find Machu Picchu? Oh my gosh, we did. Look at that thing. Ooh, that looks so cool. I think that's just on a rock of its own. Oh my gosh, that is awesome looking and there's even a nether portal down below it but just check that thing out oh that looks so cool how do we get to it because we are on a very very different rock spire can i jump down here i cannot there's no water i do have a water bucket can we do this oh my gosh i just did it wow i've never mlg water bucketed before will i try it again no but i will follow my current water pillar all the way down and use this to get ourselves down yeah that's a good way look at me being smart this is a pro minecrafter play and the skeleton tried doing it too there's a baby zombie i knew there'd be riches down here as well look at all of this clay perfect the first stuff we've actually found it's been a bad adventure so far the jungle is dangerous enough already and now it's nighttime and i'm very very scared there's zombies coming out of another portals over here and can we just like not do that that'd be great there's a creeper up there i got a lot of clay on me and how do we get up to the temple right above us? I think that water pillars are route up. There's a witch, there's a witch, there's a witch. I don't think the potion can get me while I'm swimming. Yes, 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 we're good, run away. Swim upwards, swim up the waterfall. Just gonna be daytime now as we're gonna all the way up the top of the mountain. I thought he was gonna knock me off backwards. Oh, we made it at the jungle temple. Hopefully this was worth it. We've got another skeleton down here. And yes, I realize I forgot to bring my shield with me on this whole adventure. I know many of you are probably yelling at me in the comments below, but it's fine. We'll be okay. There's another enchanted skeleton down here. Got him. Anybody else in here that we have to deal with? Gonna just go ahead and break the trap right there. Let it fire. And we can run on through to the end where we have another trap. Nice. Got them all. Ooh, lure two sharpness three book and a lot of gold and the coveted two bamboo. Then I believe on, right behind here, there's a hidden chest. I hate those puzzles. I can never figure them out. So we're just going to come back in here, raid all this stuff, get some more gold for ourselves and actually taking these sticky pistons. And since we can, I'm going to grab the dispensers too. Those things are kind of annoying to craft using the bow in every single one of them. So it'll be good detail stuff to have. Spend another 15 or 20 minutes or so out there gathering up some clay and uh, check that out. We've got a bunch of stuff over here. Even a repeater, redstone dust, and sticky pistons. That is a, a good day. There's some clay right there. I don't have any inventory space for it. I will come back for you. And there's some right there. Why did I go in all those hard to traverse rivers? Got myself killed when there's clay right outside our base. Well, time to load all this stuff up in here for now. Let that all get smelted down and keep the bricks a brewing in here. We've got a lot of clay to go. I think I might need to throw some more of that coal in there too. Fortunately or unfortunately is I have a, a lot more resources I need to be gathering up here so we can actually make this thing happen. So I'm gonna spend a good while here just breaking the blocks, getting the grind work done, and I'll be back with y'all as soon as I can. Quite scared being out here, but we don't burn the toes. We need a lot of these guys. Got an inventory full of blackstone. This guy really wants to take me out here and uh, hopefully, ooh, ooh, shiny. I forgot that gives us an advancement. What do you want to give me? What do you want to give me? Ender pearls? Ender pearls? More blackstone? <gasps> Spectral arrows, that's fine. How's, here's another gold. Here's another gold for you, buddy boy. I got three of them on me. You can have them all. Take the butter. Ooh, splash potion of fire resist. That'll be nice to have. And what are you gonna give me off of the last one there? Ooh, gravel. I will actually take that. Have some gold nuggets. You don't like gold? Take my gold nuggets. Please, 10 gravel. That's actually a good trade. No, I just, I wanna run away from you. Are you gonna make me murder you? Okay, well, you know what? You can just fall off the edge. Yep, that's what you get. Man, we are desperately in need of a larger storage room. That entire place in the house up there is full right now. I really think I'm gonna make a smaller temporary one or just a larger scale than that, but still temporary something down in here for one of these structures. We just need to upgrade it, at least getting some double chests. But I'm gonna run off until I can find a sunflower or a bunch of small yellow flowers and I'll come back home and we can get moving on. I've made it to land inside of a plains biome and there's an enderman sitting here holding a yellow flower for us. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I won't even murder you because that is just so adorable. I'm going to take the rest of them, though. 
That is an awesome looking archway. That thing right there, and then there's a massive birch forest behind it. Oh, this is a really cool area. Have we seen anything over there? That looks like it's jungle again, so there wouldn't be any sunflowers in there. Getting a little dark out here, but we did find a bunch of chickens, which is really cool. There's even some more sheep up there. Man, I should have just come this way earlier. There's every biome that we could not find and every animal we could not find all in one spot. Gosh, I spent hours hours upon hours trying to find sheeps and cows the first time and they've all just been sitting over here chilling oh my gosh there's so many skeletons i just want to pick the flowers and go in peace okay we're gonna get rid of these three we've got 44 little yellow flowers right now there's some more right over that which will be headed towards the water and that should be more than enough to be able to get us through what we need today <laughs> and baby zombies everywhere i hate them so very much we got skeletons chasing us, drowned swimming underwater. That one does have a Nautilus shell though, but I think it's time to just get out of here and run on home. I don't even know if that dude would drop it. Okay, there's the jungle. We just gotta get around to the other side. I have managed to get everything ready to go except the concrete, and I only have four ink sacks to my name, so I'm gonna be chasing these squiddy boys down here for a little while, taking a big breath and going right back under here. Then I gotta convert like three stacks or so of concrete and we'll get right into the building. Reason number one why I hate gathering concrete manually. Just making a giant pillar way high into the sky. Oh, and we're at build height. Well, <laughs> dang, these trees go exactly up to build height up here. That's insane. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to build some stuff on top of these. Oh, we'll have to keep that in mind for the future. Back down we go. Oh, this is a really far drop in the water. That's a really tall pillar. Now I'm just going to sit here like this. As the sun is going down on the millionth day of gathering resources, we finally have everything here together that we need for this build. And oh my gosh, that is a lot of stuff. But my friends, I think this one's going to be the best way to go with a third person time lapse. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and kick this off into good old fashioned time lapse mode. This build was really fun to come up with here and create the design for. I ended up looking at a bunch of different mocks for Legos in cities people are building of their own custom Lego creations. And it was really cool to get some inspiration through all of that stuff. But coming over here, I feel like I finally got to flex the building muscles or the building brain cells for a little bit and just come up with something really cool here. So we're gonna have a bunch of windows on the front and this is meant to look like an old timey industrial looking factory of sorts that we're gonna be turning into a brewery for potion brewing and whatever else we're going to be brewing in here. I don't quite know that yet. We'll see what will happen when we get around to doing the interior of this build. But overall, we've got a lot of awesome stuff in here. And to contrast the warm of the brick, we're bringing a little bit of stone brick there to top it all off give that little bit of a gray highlight and then using a lot of the black stone in here which I think is absolutely fantastic and then on the inside you can see the light gray concrete with all of the windows and everything in there we're using brown stained glass as well as orange stained glass to have a little variety to it coming up here just add in detail every single which way and then unfortunately um I got blown up by a creeper yep that happened very cool great time this is why you light up your interiors as your building space even if you don't build inside of them oh mr creeper please no i just finished it you blow up the wall around it oh my gosh i gotta figure out how to patch this thing anything else in here that wants to kill me nothing no okay cool Taking a little bit of a page out of B00's build it book for this one, I thought we could throw some random paintings up over here and just see what they look like in the end. I've seen him doing that a lot recently, which is trying to make it look like a sign or something. And I wanted to give that a shot here as well, and we'll see if we could get any of these same ones. I'm trying to make sure it's the same order of that, that, and that. I don't know why, but I just feel like it has to have some consistency. There we go. Number one done. And there we have all three of them. I really like that, actually. Let's take a look back from over here. Still want to get a little bit more work on the exterior done, adding some lanterns and things to uh, light up the area because that's desperately needed. But the rest of this is starting to look really cool. I like this a lot. One thing I had thought about was we can have the items being pulled out from here coming out to the outside then they're like on a little cart right here maybe this is the end of a minecart track and we can have a lift of sorts of something that would be able to pick that up move it over here and drop it down on a boat i think that could be an awesome bit of detail to add in here i added in all of the dark oak strip logs for the dock itself as our floor in here i don't know if we're going to keep that quite yet for these but all of the windows on the sides and everything we'll have to tweak those and just figure out if we're going to want them or not because right here well um they look kind of into a wall they get a little bit of light in there, but for the most part, they're just looking into a wall. Now, before we do much more building on this front or getting the potion brewery set up, there is one thing I am absolutely tired of, and I completely regret saying at the beginning of today's episode, y'all might know that one by now. 
I said we didn't need diamond armor yet. Oh man, how wrong was I? <laughs> We've died twice today to creeper explosions. Yeah, let's solve that right now. Cover me with diamonds. Yes, please. Taking off this beaten up iron armor there and we are putting on the full diamond. That just, it had to happen. It had to happen. We're going to throw all this up here too. Feeling uh, much stronger now. And I think we could easily throw a wall right there. We could do one of those and we do a chain and a lantern hanging off the bottom. And honestly, maybe we go without the fence up here. Yes, I brought that with a pickaxe. I know, it's it's been a rough day. And we could just do something like this along the edge, and I think that could work out pretty cool too. Otherwise, it just felt like it was hanging a little too low, and we don't want the chains hanging that low. But inside of here, we've got a really cool spot. We're going to need to throw a lot of lanterns hanging from the ceiling and get the interior of this guy set up here. But first and foremost, I want to make sure in today's episode... We finish up the entire exterior. So I'm gonna try and come up with a little bit of like a crane design of something that we can throw in this point. I've cleared the train out here in the back a little bit and I was not really in the mood to come up with my own design for this thing. And I think it's okay every once in a while to use a design from somebody else as long as you know you give them credit if somebody asks where it came from. So Broken Pixel recently posted something over on the Minecraft subreddit that I just thought was absolutely amazing. So we're gonna be building a similar version of that. Still my own tweak to it and everything but we're going to be doing a fairly similar version to a crane that they designed a little while ago so for starters we're going to be bringing up a few little bits of stuff around here having ourselves with a base with a bunch of trap doors around it and then on top of that we can bring in a barrel and then bring you back in the strip logs you can go one two and three and the thing that i absolutely loved about this design that they utilize is i've recently been obsessed with signs inside of minecraft as a detail bit and they put signs everywhere on this thing except right here that's not the spot where we want to sign and then using some grindstones as well as a bunch of chains we can create a really cool pulley system that makes it looks like this crane would actually be functioning so we're gonna go one two three four five six and then after that we're gonna be adding another little pulley out there as well but for now we can just go ahead and top them all off with a bunch of spruce slabs Doing another little ring up here with a bunch of trap doors for ourselves. And then off of the back here, we're actually going to bring it in an area that'll be holding up everything. They'll be having a lot of functional stuff to it. So we have the counterweight system. Then in here, we can bring in another barrel. And on top of that, I wanted to bring in a little bit of blackstone for ourselves. And then blackstone, we can go into there and there. So we can do dark oak fence. And then we can do a little redstone torch on top of it. Make me, I don't know, techie something. I don't know. Smarticles. Smarticles. That's that's the goal of this one here is to make it feel smarticles. Yep. That's that's where we're at today, everybody. Looks like I need to take the terrain back here a little bit further so this thing can actually swing around, but that's okay. Then back here for the counterweight, I thought it'd be cool to have some blackstone inside of all this place here so we can bring in some of these walls and everything like this. And then we'll bring in a little bit of polished blackstone stairs to help create a full little circle guy going on throughout. Out here and off of this thing we can have that coming out and we can do boop and a boop and then do another trapdoor action right on top and there we have the first rendition of this so far again kudos to broken pixel for this one very very cool i'll try and remember to throw a link in the description to the reddit post where i found it so y'all can check it out if you would like but what we need to do next is come all the way out here grab our grindstone dot him on there and then we're sending a few chains down and i don't quite know what i want to have as far as things being loaded or unloaded at the base of this so for now we're just going to throw a dark oak fence of something they could connect to and we've got some zombies to deal with and with my luck today i think i'm gonna go ahead and go find the bed and sleep real fast up above from our house though, this area is looking really, really cool. The terrain needs to be fixed. We got a lot of terraforming work ahead of us, but I really like it so far. Honestly, I think throwing in a little bit of bamboo in that corner could be a really cool way to add some detail without doing too much to it, you know? I think to add some extra life to this build, we're gonna have to tear out the front of this section and actually raise it all up. So I guess the wood floor here is gonna be being removed as well. So we're gonna bring the whole stone face out an extra block and just give our, not that, why did I pick up a, a chest there? But I wanna give ourselves a one block lip going around the entire thing where the lift is operating so we can just have it raised up and feel like it's a disconnected point from everything else that we have on the dock. Just adding more variety to the different layers that we have on the dock, I feel like it'll help the build out a lot. If my amazing attempt at words there did not tell you what's going on, I want to do something like this. Just a little bit raised up there, we have the one block disconnect between everything else, and it just adds some extra interest to the overall scene we're creating here. It actually feels more like a cargo dock area in that portion than just being a regular little fishing dock over here. 
Now to bring a little bit of life back into the area here, I thought we could bring in a little bit of dirt and cover up these corners, uh, just, a just a touch. And I actually did bring in some grass blocks here as well. I grabbed some with silk touch so we can at least spread some grass around the area. And then maybe here and this one and like that one, we can bring in a little bit of coarse dirt here as well to detail these things out. If you can't tell I'm distracting us all from working on the interior of this space, we'll get it started today. And then I brought in some bamboo here too, which we can use a little bit of around the place and start growing that stuff up. And of course the warped roots, love these things so very much. And so we're gonna do a few of those with some lilacs back here. A Little bit of bone meal action on the bamboo to grow up just a touch. And we should be able to get a good glimpse of what this area could look like in the end. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a really cool atmosphere, especially with the custom tree and everything we have over there. And then honestly, we could add in a little bit of grass and things behind this area too. Probably doesn't make much sense having any of the bamboo back here, seeing as you know, the cliff is right above us, but we can at least add in some grass and dirt here. Man, that looks a lot better already. Just a little bit of stuff going on over there, a little bit of stuff going on over there. And then, oh my gosh, I can already kind of see the scape of our city developing here we'll have like two or three buildings along here like we've talked about before and the atmosphere is really starting to come together i love that giant smoke stack up there with just the smoke or steam billowing out of the top of the thing speaking of which i'm gonna spend a little bit of time down here working on a design for some sort of a cooking oven station and I'll be back with y'all once we get that figured out. A very important thing for our brewery here is probably gonna be actually having some brewing stands and maybe I'll bring, uh, no, I was thinking a cauldron so we could have some water. Wow, we got to be nighttime very fast there. But cauldrons are not infinite water sources, so we'll have to find another way to do that. I've been able to do a little bit of work on the interior so far. You can probably see some of it popping up there with these giant vats for brewing something. Thing. But back in here, we've got this little setup right there. We got one on that side, then we got two in here. I was thinking about the giant oven for this structure, right? And it just didn't seem like a good idea. The more I played around with it, I played around with a few designs in a creative world and nothing really was just like, ooh, I should do that. So I decided to just kind of leave it here. Uh, but what I think we are gonna do is three smooth stone right here and we've got our three brewing stands right there. And then after this, I should probably get a bunch of barrels so we can have a little bit of storage sections around these guys. And I think um, I wanna have something that feel like we're doing a latch of sorts to help support the roof up from the inside here. And then I was thinking we could have a bit of a raised minecart platform going along this way, almost like a conveyor belt. I've got the beams in the top of the chains down here are holding up what is that floating rail, but I don't think it's gonna work here. We can check this out right here. It's a kind of a cool idea. I don't even know if I could get that guy to go again. Anyways, it's kind of a cool idea to have something in here, but I think this structure is just too small. I wanna have moving minecarts throughout the base elsewhere, and I think this is a cool idea using the acacia as a platform for them to be flying all over the place, but I don't know if it's gonna work out too well inside of here. What we might do, honestly, is just leave the minecart sitting down here as a tiny little ramp on the floor that can go to like here and just back. Sorry for the little bit of framey stuff. I've got a little bit of a bug going on inside of this world. I'm trying to fight around it as we're doing these clips here, but something like that should be pretty good for ourselves. I think we're still spawnable over here. Yeah, you can see those giant spikes of leg there. Anyways, we are one block away from spawnable. How about this corner? Nope, looks like we're all good there actually. That is fantastic. Uh, we do have a lot of floor lighting in here for now, but something we'll figure out here come in the future. <laughs> The only thing we don't have access to inside of here is water, but you know, there is an ocean right outside the door, so that should be plenty enough for all of us on this. We're gonna have to start getting some more blaze rods here soon. That creeper has been on the side of the mountain for way too long, and I'm really hoping he is just gonna stay up there. <laughs> this build is looking really cool from back at the base. I think it's something that we can keep working on as we're going. One final little bit of detail I wanted to try here was what if we brought in some diorite? I know this is gonna be a questionable one, but what if we used a little bit of diorite to cover up these open points that we have? Just add some way to add a color highlight for ourselves. You know, I don't really hate that. I actually kind of like that. It's stands out. <laughs> it adds another little bit of contrast for us in here. The next one would actually be right here at this point. I really want to rework this. I don't enjoy this section over here, so if you have ideas on how I can rework that for myself, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But folks, I think with that, that is going to be where we're ending today's episode off. Thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Click that like button down below if you did. Subscribe if you are brand new. And my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.